Easy word box. Somebody hit your word, but under your feet with this one. This is a video for Errol Spence saying that Lomachenko is the number one fighter instead of Terrence Crawford. The whole shit I ever heard in my life, man. Errol Spence, I already don't like you, but I lost a lot more respect for you, man. You ain't fought number 10. I mean, three people in the top 10 probably. Lamont Peterson, Chris Algieri, and who else? Kell Brook. Which Kell Brook had an injury already. You came in and um, captivated off that eye injury, won the belt. I give you full credit for that. You fought uh, Chris Algieri, a, a former kickboxer. Uh, and then you came and you beat who else? Lamont Peterson. Which I didn't think you would beat Lamont Peterson because Lamont Peterson is a dog. But you came in and you did that. But no one mentions that Errol Spence is a fucking steroid user and a fucking weight bully. This man is on camera saying himself that he come in close to 180 to 195. That means when he rehydrates, he's close to 35 or just 25 pounds more than his opponent. That's why he ran through Lamont Peterson. But I already didn't like you because I know you're cheating. But then you're going to come in and you're going to disrespect another black fighter who's the undisputed 140-pound champion. The undisputed 140-pound champion. And you're going to give it to Lomachenko, a man with 15, close to 14 fights, with a loss, and who ain't really fought no contenders like that. Which I give him George Linares, yes. I give him that. He got knocked on his ass in that fight. So what you think gonna happen to him with a fighter that really can step up to the plate against him? And my only reason for being pissed off about this, because I was sitting up, I was like, what can I give my subscribers to look at? Because I've been going through a lot of things myself. And I thought about it and I saw this video, I said, let me get on Errol Spence punk ass for not giving another black man credit for something he ain't did and a lot of other boxers that he admire ain't fucking did. And for all you people who out there who watch boxing and love boxing or claim you love it, Floyd Mayweather was never the undisputed champion. He had opportunities, but he was never undisputed. So don't get it fucking twisted. I could not believe that when this man did this. It hurt my heart. To see you downgrade another man's achievements because people believe that or know that Terrence Crawford will whoop your ass. For one, you have no head movement. Two, you cannot fight going backwards. Three, you don't have the skill level to beat Terrence Crawford. You've only been fighting in boxing since you were 15. You haven't been doing it since you were a kid like the rest of these guys. True enough, you went to the amateurs. And for those who are Errol Spence fans, go back and check his knockout ratio as an amateur. He wasn't knocking anybody out. He only had about four goddamn knockouts in his amateur career. So what and how can a man come in, I don't know, as a professional and beat guys that have never been stopped, knocked down, and he stops them, knocks them down and make them quit? That don't seem funny to you. That just seems like everybody's hating on Errol, huh? Nobody's hating on Errol Spence. I'm not hating on Errol Spence. If you know boxing, you know that something is not right. Keith Thurman, uh, coaches and trainers know there's something not right with Errol Spence. Why do you think he ain't fought him? Keith Thurman's not afraid of Errol Spence. Keith Thurman's team knows that Errol Spence is a juicer and he's a weight bully. Why do you think Errol Spence always talking shit and getting mad when he can't get certain fights against them? Because they know that he's a weight bully. Why you think Sean Porter father, whenever they mention him fighting Errol Spence, that he always says they're not looking to fight Errol Spence. Their mind is on WBC belt. And that's because Errol Spence is a weight bully and a cheater. Why you think Danny Garcia daddy? 
and Dana Garcia never really talk about fighting Errol Spence because they are in the sport and they understand the business. And they know that Errol Spence should not be fighting at 147. Errol Spence is coming at 147 to take glory, to be known as the undisputed champion, even though he's fucking cheating. And nobody really want to realize that or know it. Errol Spence don't do shit for me. Errol Spence don't know me. My opinion don't mean shit towards Errol Spence. But what I'm giving you is real deal facts. How dare this man sit up here and disrespect another black fighter who's accomplished more than he has, who's accomplished more than the fighters that he admired. And you sit up here and you give this shit to Lomachenko, a man who hasn't had 20 fights with a loss, and you say he's the number one pound for pound fighter. If you're a fan of Ever Spence, you should be ashamed of yourself for still being a fan of his after you see this. I've been sitting up here all night. And I'm like, I got to get my subscriber something. Even though I'm going through my own, I got to get my subscriber something. And this, when I saw this, I said, this is it. This is it. Errol, how dare you? Do some shit like that. Not only as a black man, and this ain't racially motivated, is showing respect for those who are the same as you because you know what goes on in the sport of boxing. Yes, boxing is racial. Look at all the great white heights they try to put against black top, of phone, top opponents and hope they will win. And for you to do this just showed me that you's a fucking coon. You don't want to see another black man do better than you. And it's the truth. You know, I'm giving it to you raw and uncut. It's the truth. The only reason you didn't admit that Errol Spence was number one I mean, not Errol Spence, but Terrence Crawford was number one, Errol. Because everybody predicts him to whoop your ass. That's, that's why you didn't do it. That's why you didn't do it. You're over there with your little child little brothers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all supposed to be family now. You see what I'm saying? But you ain't realizing that the child little brothers want you as family because don't nobody want to mention your ass as a contender to fight them motherfuckers at 144, 154 or 160. You can't picture that. That's why they love you so much. That's why they want to spar with you so much to see if they have a chance of beating your stupid ass. The same way that Floyd put your ass up as a bulletproof vest against Keith. But you don't see it though. Like I said before, Keith Thurman will beat his ass he cannot fight going backwards. He has no head movement. He has not been training that long enough to understand the real technical part of boxing. He started when he was 15. Most boxers start when they're 7, 5, 6, 8, 9 years old. So what the fuck make y'all think this man is just that superb? Oh, because he black Floyd Mayweather's eye. But nobody ain't gonna say this was an offseason and he wasn't even probably a professional then or was and he was probably on steroids and bigger than Floyd Mayweather but ain't nobody gonna say that everybody just gonna keep hyping him up why you think Floyd Mayweather wanted him to fight Michael Garcia cause Floyd Mayweather knew that Michael Garcia is a way bully too why you think Errol Spence don't mention Michael Garcia because Errol Spence knows that Michael Garcia is a way Bully too. And it wouldn't be that easy of a fight for him. Because Mike Garcia is a technical fighter. I'm not getting on him making this shit up. I'm just giving you facts. Truth. I don't hate this man. This man don't do shit for me. He's a black man. I hope to see him do the best in his career. But Errol Spence is a cheater and a white bully. And to disrespect another black man like that. Who's achieved more than you in the sport of boxing. Only because you dislike him because everybody has you to beat you makes you a hold of me. Which showed me I didn't have no reason to like you in the first fucking place. The first place. Which we know to this day. I mean, look at it. Lamont, Peters, Lamont Peterson. Chris Algieri. 
Uh, who's the other guy? Be Kell Brook. The rest of them guys besides Kell Brook probably ain't signed up for the WBC Clean Boxing Program. Ask yourself why won't Arrow sign up for the Clean Boxing Program if he's such the truth. Because Arrow know he's juicing in the offseason and he comes in, he gets the date, and he knows when to become clean. He's a fucking cheater, y'all. And you can take that to the fucking bank. <laughs> That's why I ain't got nothing against this man. This man made way more money than me. He probably could see this video right now. He's like, man, you know what? Let me get a hundred dollars flush down the toilet on this bitch. <laughs> he could do some shit like that. My opinion don't mean nothing to him. But one thing y'all have to understand with me, I know boxing. I ain't nobody who just came in in the Floyd Mayweather era. I came in when the sport was legit. But I'm seven, eight years old watching my dad throw fight parties. Matter of fact, I give you a prime fight somebody was on steroids. Andre Berto versus Victor Ortiz. That right hand that Andre Berto hit Victor Ortiz with that he didn't see coming would have stopped any opponent. Because they didn't see it. It didn't stop Victor Ortiz when he got up and he shook his head off because he was on steroids. Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather versus Shane Mosley. Floyd Mayweather was on steroids. When Floyd Mayweather go back and look at the beginning of the fight, like I say in all my videos, wipes his nose at the beginning of the fight on the towel when he gets into the ring. Linda Edelberg gave him a powdery substance with a tool to snort it with, and he hit it twice in the back room. So to all the people who was out there saying, are oh, you just talking about Jamal Charlo and them being on steroids because er I mean, um, Erickson Lubin said it, said it's lions only, lions only. No, you can snort steroids, you stupid motherfuckers. You don't have to inject it. If you think I'm lying, go back to Shane Mosley, Floyd Mayweather video when they're fighting. And when they get in, Floyd Mayweather first get in the ring, the first thing he goes to is a towel on the rope and wipes his nose. You niggas don't know this shit like me, man. I'm not no nigga who just get up here and go down Google and upload some shit. And then I, I, I see something and make a motherfucking comment on. I know boxing, man. You understand me? And Errol Spence, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, man. As a black man, as any black man who follows this motherfucker, you should be ashamed of yourself, man. I had to get on here and tell y'all about this shit. Because it's wrong. You could be in tour with the hoodest nigga in the hood who could fight like a motherfucker. A motherfucker asked you could beat him. Who the top nigga in the hood? And you know you done took losses in your wars, which ain't nothing wrong with that. That don't mean you can't beat that nigga. But you'll have to give it to that man. You understand? He ain't took no losses. He done whooped all ass. You took losses. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with you saying, hey, for real shit the nigga can thump. Nigga got fight him. He turned like a washing machine. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. But if you don't, it shows the hole and the bitch in you. And that's what Errol Spence showed me tonight. So to my scribes, this is my video to y'all. I had to give y'all some. You know, y'all take care. Y'all support y'all families. Y'all be okay, man. Y'all do what y'all have to do what's necessary to survive. Like, comment, subscribe to the videos. This is Easy Work Boxing. I'm out. Thank you.